Hey there, welcome to Yoga with Brad, the space where I do my best to help you thrive both on and off your mat. Today, we're going to switch things up and actually not do any yoga. We're going to get into some TRX suspension training, which I use to complement my yoga practice one to two times a week. It's great for balancing out all the pushing that you do in yoga, getting a lot of pulling in for the upper body to keep yourself balanced. Now, you can get one of these online if you don't have one, you get the legit version or the knockoff for a little bit cheaper. I'll toss some links down below if you don't have one. The main reason I'm doing this is because a couple of guys I teach asked me to create a half hour video for them to do at home and I hope this benefits you as well. So when you're ready, grab your TRX strap. Also, if you need to, you can mount it. There's mounts you can buy for the ceiling to hook it right into the ceiling and you can use it on your door if that's not available where you live. So again, to start out, we're gonna start at mid-length, take ourselves back, holding on to each handle and focusing on the anchor point. You're gonna take the feet a little bit wider than hip width, turn the toes out about a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna get into some squats. So on the inhale, you're gonna sink yourself down. Exhale, push yourself back up. Inhale down and exhale, press back up. Try and make sure the knees are tracking the same way as the toes and put as much weight as you need to into the handles. But if you can, you can take a little bit out if it's available to you. Try and keep the chest nice and open, spine along, reaching through the top of the head. If you're using the arms, hug the body with the elbows and make sure that you're breathing. Exhale's coming up, inhale sinking. Two more. And all the way to standing. Now we're gonna take the feet to hip width, body in one straight line, gaze is fixed on the anchor point, arms are gonna get long. Palms of the hands are gonna face one another. And on the exhale, you're gonna bring the elbows alongside the body, hugging it, pressing that chest forward. And on the inhale, you're gonna lengthen. Exhale up. Inhale, get low. And if you need to, step the feet closer towards the anchor point to increase the difficulty. And further away if you need to make it easier. Try and lead with the chest more so than the hips on this one. You have a tendency to thrust them forward, which is going to cause you to arch your spine and not use your core as much. So really lengthen through the spine as you do this. And again, feet come closer to the anchor point if you want to make it more difficult. And the elbows stay nice and tight to the body. Three more. And one more, we're gonna come up and hold, see if you can stay for five, four, three, two, one, and lengthen it out. Come and stand for a sec, take a rest. Now we're gonna combine those last two and bring it into one full movement. So feet are still gonna stay in a little bit. Make sure they're hip width or a little bit wider. Lengthen the arms. On the inhale, you're coming down. Exhale up. Now, totally lied there. Exhale down. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, row. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, row. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale down. Continuing with the breath. Combining the two movements that we started out with. Again, making sure those knees go the same direction as the toes and that your gaze stays forward. You can focus on a spot on the wall or look all the way up towards the anchor point. Do whichever one's more comfortable for you. Two more rounds. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale row, inhale lengthen, exhale down, inhale up, exhale row, inhale lengthen. And just come to standing for a sec. So three basic ones to get our body warmed up. Now we're going to get into a little bit of one-legged squats. Left leg's going to be the base leg. 
You're going to extend the right leg forward, focusing the gaze. This is your inhale, nice and high. On the exhale, you're going to sink down, trying to bring that left leg to 90, and inhale up. Leg that's in the air stays nice and extended. You're going to try and reach through the heel and flex the toes towards the face. Chest stays open, and breath continues to flow. Using the handles as much as you need, aiming for two more. And all the way up, shake the legs up for a sec. Come to the other side, plant through the right foot this time, send the left leg long out in front, drive through the heel, draw the toes to the face, and exhale, lower down. Inhale, come back up. Staying as long as you can through the upper body. Maintaining your breath. Two more. And all the way to standing. The second one we're going to do with the one-legged squats is taking the leg behind us. Inhale, you're going to take your right knee up, nice and long through the left leg. On the exhale, send the leg back. Try and bring the toes to the ground or leg just hovers. Inhale up, exhale back. Moving with the breath. And this one, for sure you have the tendency to round through the upper body, but keep it nice and open as best as you can. Two more. And all the way up with the right leg, place it back down, shake it out. And come to the other side. This time the right foot's the base. Left leg's coming up, this is your inhale. Exhale, send it back, toes touch, or leg just hovers. Inhale's rising. Exhale's taking yourself down. Two more. And all the way up. Shake those legs out. Awesome. Another one for the upper body while we're here. Instead of doing the row, where we take the elbows alongside the body tight, we're going to flip the palms of the hands down, take the body in one straight line, lengthen through the top of the head, and on your exhale, you're going to come up so that the elbows are alongside the shoulders, trying to line them up nice and high, and inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bring them out to the side, and inhale, lengthen. Continue with the breath. Like I said earlier, try and lead with the chest more so than the hips, activating your core. To make it more difficult, you can always take those feet closer to the anchor point, further away from the anchor point to make it easier. Two more. And last one. Lengthen it out and just come to stand and rest for a sec. The other one for the upper body, we're gonna do some flies. We're gonna do three different kinds, so please pace yourself and focus more on form than repetitions or you know getting as close to the anchor point with your feet as you can. So for this one, you're gonna take your left foot or right foot forward, other leg comes back, bending through the knee, still trying to create one straight line from the shoulders all the way down, through the heel of the foot, arms are going to get lengthened. You're going to use this bent leg to assist you though as you go through this. So on the inhale, we're going to come up, try and bring those hands right above the shoulders or a little bit wider, and exhale, slowly lower back down. Inhale, come up, and exhale, slowly lower. Arms stay lengthened the entire time ideally. Continuing for three more.
Last one. And lower back down. Come to standing for a sec, rest the arms. Now this time, we're gonna aim for a 45 degree angle with the arms, so you're not in line with the shoulders, you're not right over the shoulders, you're halfway. When you're ready, exhale or inhale, come up, linking it with the breath, and lengthen it out. Still lead with that chest, more so than the hips, and make sure your breath is moving. Two more. And all the way back. Just stand and take rest for a moment. This time we're going to come right in line with the shoulders. You may need to adjust the feet a little bit, or maybe even switch to the other side. Changing the leg that's forward, making sure you got a nice bend through the other one, and take the arms alongside the shoulders, lengthen it out, and all the way back up. Try to move nice and slow. Two more if you can. And last one. All the way to standing. Resting here for a moment. Giving the arms a little bit of a break. We're going to lower the strap. Pulling down the outside of the buckle. Take it so the loop is roughly around a foot above the ground. Right foot is going to come into both straps. Now, left foot's going to hop forward, keeping nice tension through the top of that right foot in the strap. Now, you're either choosing to press the hands together at center in the chest, hands to the hips, or you can shoot the arms overhead if that's comfortable for you. Inhale is going to be here, and on our exhale, we're going to lower down, bending through this left leg. So we're exhale lowering, reaching through the right toes, trying to come down to a little bit of a lunge. Inhale, come back up, and exhale lower. Continuing with the breath. Use a focal point to help you with your balance and stay with the breath as you flow in and out of it. Choosing the hand position that works best for you and try and keep that back leg as long as you can. This the next time you come back, we're going to try and hold. Lengthening that back leg, nice bend through that front knee. Taking the arms up alongside the ears if you can. Five, four, three, two, one, and all the way back up. Come to standing for a sec. Let that foot come out of the strap, and we'll make our way to the other side. Left foot comes into both loops. Right foot hops forward this time. Find that focal point for the gaze. Nice solid connection through that right foot. Hands centered at the chest. Hands on the hips or shoot them up alongside the ears. Your call. Inhale here. Exhale, lower yourself down. Lengthen that back leg. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Three more. And holding this next time when you come down. If you raise the arms on the other side, please do so again if you can. Five, four, three, two, one. One, and inhale, come all the way up. Let that foot come out. Shake the legs out for a sec. Now, we're going to go through that one more time. We're just going to change things up a little bit. Right foot comes back into the loops, holding the strap to get solid, hopping forward with that left foot when you're ready. 
Now, we're going to bring the hands to the center of the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, come forward, plant the hands. Take your left foot back, choosing to keep the toes down or lift it up. Inhale down, exhale, press. Inhale forward, reach to the sky, and hands centered at the chest. We're going to go through two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, plant, step back. Inhale down. Exhale, press, and step yourself forward. Come all the way up. Inhale, and exhale, hands centered at the chest. Last one. And exhale, hands to center. Come to the other side when you're ready. Left foot comes into the straps now. Right foot hops up to the front. Squaring yourself to whatever's in front of you. Nice solid connection through the top of the foot to the straps. Right foot to the ground. Hands start at center. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold. Step it back. Inhale, lower down. Foot stays down or lifts. Exhale, press. Inhale, forward. All the way up. And exhale. Center at the chest. Two more. Last one. And all the way up. Give those legs a, legs a little bit of a break for a second. Then take your, depends if you're facing me or not. We'll do right leg in the strap first. Step that left foot over to the side. Turn the toes out about a 45 degree angle. Now inhale breath. You're going to reach up to the sky. On the exhale, you're going to bend through that left knee. Make sure it goes the same way as the toes. Right leg comes out. Fingertips touch the ground if they can't. Inhale up. And exhale, come down. Getting into that inner groin. Adjust that left foot as necessary. And this time when you come down, we're going to hold. Sink the hips as much as you can. Try and stay open through the chest. Five, four, three, two, one, and all the way back. Foot comes out of the strap. Coming to the other side when you're ready. Left foot comes into the strap. Right foot's coming to the side. You're trying to aim for your 45. Lengthen through the upper body, reach the arms up. This is your inhale. On your exhale, hands are going to come down, butt sinks towards the ground. Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. Touch the ground if you can. Two more. And holding when you come down this time. Again, try and stay as open as you can through the chest. Five, four, three, two, one, and all the way back up. Take a breather here for a sec. Adjust that strap back up to mid length. Now, one more set of lunges before I stop making you do lunges. We'll take the hands onto the handles. This time we're facing away from the anchor point. You're going to take your left foot forward. Right foot's going to come back. Aiming to get the handles right above the shoulders. If they don't make it there, that's okay. Drive through that right heel. Nice bend through that left knee. Now on the inhale, we're going to lengthen that left leg. As you exhale, bend nice and deep through it. Trying to stack the knee over the ankle. Torso nice and long. Fingers reach to the sky. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Two more. And hold this time when you come into it. Now you're either choosing to stay right at center 
or this is your inhale. On the exhale, try and side bend to the left a little bit. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Two more each way, or keep breathing at center. And all the way to the middle. Grab onto the handles, pull yourself back up. Take a breath here for a sec. Then switch the feet up. Right foot's coming forward, you're driving through that left heel. If you need to bend a little bit to the knee, please do so, but lengthen as much as you can. Bend through that right knee. Stack the hands over the shoulders, shoulders over the hips. Nice bend through the knee. Inhale, lengthen the leg. Exhale, bend to stack that right knee over the right ankle. Two more. And hold when you come into this time, staying at center or choosing to on the exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Two more rounds each way or staying at center. And all the way back up, hold onto the handles, pull yourself back up to standing. Turning back to face the anchor point, we're going to work on some bicep curls right now. Taking the hands onto the handles, palms come up, legs are going to get long, either feet hip width apart, you can also bring them together and make it a little bit more difficult. Now on the exhales, you're going to bring the hands towards the forehead, elbows stay in line with the shoulders, inhale lengthen. Exhale, come up. As you're doing this again, we want to try and lead more so with the chest than with the hips. Keeping the body in one straight line. Two more. And length it out. Now we're going to step a little bit closer to the anchor point and see if you can do five more reps. Two more. And last one. Lengthen it out. Come to standing and rest for a sec. Okay, now we're facing away from the anchor point. Hands away from us. We're going to come up onto the balls of the feet. Hands, try and keep them in line with the shoulders, lengthen through the top of the head. Now we're going to inhale, sink through the elbows. Exhale, press away, tricep extension. We're trying to bring the hands just to the forehead. They don't really need to go further back. And continue with the breath. Exhale, press away. Inhale, sink into it. Three more. Last one. And come all the way in the center. We're going to do three more reps, but you're going to do it with my count. So as you inhale, slowly lower into it. Five, four, three, two, one. And press away for five, four, three, two, one. Two more. Coming down. Five, four, three, two, two, one, and pressing away, five, four, three, two, one. Last one, five, four, three, two, one, and extending for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. Take a breather for a sec. We're gonna start winding it down. Now, we're gonna come forward. Hands are holding onto the handle still, but you're gonna flip the hands around, Stretch out the triceps and the lats a little bit. Let the head hang. Body is relatively straight. You can rock a little bit side to side. Beginning to slow down that breath. Two more breaths right here. And 
slowly make your way back to facing the anchor point. Twist them back around if they got all bunched up on you. Now we're going to stretch out the outside of the leg, standing pigeon, except you got the assistance of the strap. So you're going to bait, plant through that left leg, take the right foot on to the left quad, draw the toes towards the knee, and sink down through the hips. So both hips are sinking, chest is nice and open, squared, whatever's in front of you, shoulders relax away from the ears. Now you can choose to come down all the way like this if that's comfortable, but please stay up if you need to. Drawing those right toes to the knee, see if you can take three more full breaths. And inhale, come back up. Shake the legs out. Doing our standing pigeon on the other side. Right foot to the base. Nice little bend through the knee. Left foot comes on to the right quad. Flex those toes towards the left knee. Sink down through the butt. Reach up to the top of the head. And keep that chest nice and open. Again, choosing to sink down all the way. If that's available to you, you can stay here. Or you come up aiming for that right leg to be at 90 degrees. Two more breaths. And inhale, come all the way up. Now I really like to do this one, just stretch out the neck and the arm as well. So you take both loops, bring them together, hold onto it with your right hand, lengthen that right arm, Take the feet towards the anchor point, so right side of the body is facing the anchor point, left fingertips down, let the head just hang. If you want to direct the breath, you can bring it between that right ear and the right shoulder, letting the head be as heavy as it can be. Two more full breaths. And inhale, slowly bend through the arm, switch it up, holding onto those loops with the left hand, left side of the torso faces the anchor point, a little bit of angle with the torso, and let the head hang, right arm releases towards the ground as well. Breathe into the space between that left ear and left shoulder if you'd like. Two more breaths. and bend through that left arm. Slowly take yourself up. Now we're just gonna leave those straps. One thing I like to do at the end of pretty much every TRX class is just do a twist to help out that spine, plus gives yourself a little bit of rest. Make your way down onto your back when you're ready. Take the knees in the chest, squeeze them in a little bit, rock side to side. Then take the legs together. Arms up alongside the ears and the shoulders. Take the legs over to the right. Eyeballs face up to the sky or the head falls to the left. Arms can be up like this, bent at 90. You can lengthen them out or they can just stay more alongside the torso, whatever's more, most comfortable to you. It does not matter to me. Try and get heavy through your legs though. And slow down that breath if you can. Two more breaths right here. And head makes its way to neutral if it's not there. Legs come up and then let them come over to the left this time. Choosing a comfortable position for the arms again. Eyeballs stay up or the head falls over to the right this time. Still slowing down that breath, feeling heavy through the legs, entire torso nice and connected through the shoulders as well as the head. Two more breaths. And 
all the way back to center. You can squeeze them into the chest one more time if you want. And then get on with your day. If you want to do a Shavasana like we would do in yoga, you can do that as well. It does not matter to me though. So I hope you found that helpful. I did enjoy doing that with you guys. And if you're looking for more of my work, you can head on over to yogawithbrad.com. I got lots of great stuff up there, some stuff you won't find on YouTube as well. Anyways, stay tuned, and I'll see you next time.